wee bit different tonight. We're in Cayo Slovakia. Just done a wee live with Tim and Webby. And we're gonna go down and have our dinner in the Restaurante El Delfin. So it's got good write-ups and everything. So we're gonna see what it's like when we go down here. But anyway, join us and we're gonna show you the meal, show you the view. And the view, if it's anything like up there, is really quite nice. Way up to the hills, yeah. And we believe it's a few stories down, but anyway, we'll have a wee look. Beautiful view of the ocean. Lovely in the evening. Again, isn't it, Anne? And we're gonna, down here, show you the menu, show you where we are, and we're gonna show you the food. So, please join us. <laughs> That's As you, no, That's this is the drink. Oh, uh, the delivery is it's quite a few steps down here. We'll watch where we're going, aren't we? Eh? No, exactly. And I would suggest anybody not to have a lot of wine when they have to get back up. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. But we'll follow the signs. Oh, there's a plunge pool down here. Oh, goodness. My goodness. It's like a, it's like an expedition to get down here, isn't it? There's a natural pool. It looks lovely. All the times we've been to Tenerife, it's the first time in Cayo Slovakia. Oh, it's down here. Oh, it's the grotto. We chuck pennies in the pond. So that's a cuarto. There you are. Nice tea. Please. <laughs> Thank you. What an absolute stunning location. We're perched on the edge of the cliff. Volcanic rock foundation there. Looking down, away in the distance is uh, Las Americas. Up towards the Hard Rock Hotel. And this is Cayo Savaki. The beach is behind us over there. It looks lovely. Anne's just studying the most important part, the menu, aren't you, Anne? And we've got an actual pool just outside our view. See it from here, but there's a stunning house perched right on top of the cliff through just past Anne's head. It's absolutely beautiful. Just going to go around and let everybody have a wee look. Just say to Anne. Just saying to Anne, what an absolutely wonderful setting. I hope the food lives up to the setting. I can't get any closer. Is it Atlantic Ocean? Fred Olsen in the distance. La Gomera, just with a wee bit of cloud sitting on top. And somebody's down there in the natural pool. Just I don't know, there's a st the steps. Yeah, it must be the steps. Hi, yeah. So there's the homemade garlic butter, lovely hot soft bread. hot bread, a bottle of Venusol, and we're going to come back to you when we've got the main course and the starter. Up here, now we've got two people in the natural pool, and who can blame them? Absolutely wonderful, beautiful setting. That's Player Paraiso with the hard rock to tell. And the noise of the waves crashing is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, now, if you think the garlic prawns are hot, 
I can assure you the hot, the steam coming off seems amazing. Yeah, but I hope they're nippy hot, you know, or yeah. the garlic, yeah. yeah. Well, Anne, what was the thing about the garlic for? Delicious. Delicious, thank you. And red hot, weren't they? Mm -hmm. And big, big chunks of garlic. I'm still eating some of your prawn. That's okay. <laughs> Pick away. Mm. Beautiful sunset over La Gamela. So here we have the Chateau Grill, cooked medium. And I think we should have maybe just oh, asked them. <laughs> we, should, we should have maybe asked them just to dehorn it, wipe its ass, and stick it on the plate. Thank you. Peppercorn, pepper, and mushrooms. Ah, Perfecto. You. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Peppercorn and mushroom. Mm -hmm. Well, at least seventy-five, eighty pounds. I bet. <laughs> Sunset is behind La Gomera. <coughs> what? Up to the You actually see La Palma in the distance. La Palma was over there. No, it's over there. It's past La Palma. I'm coming around now. Right, Anne. The velvet, please, for the shadow here. All right, but we've had better. That's exactly how I feel. The sauce is perfect, perfectly edible, but the sauce was, uh, as we say in Scotland, as we say in Scotland, the sauce is like kahuchi. The sauce is like kahuchi, which is the Scottish word for glue. But having said that, I mean, 10 out, 10 out of 10 for the second. Uh, 5 out of 10. What about the prawns? So? Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Average it out. So there we are. There's a, a wee report on El Delphine. Wine's lovely. But we drink El being a soul at home. So I mean, it's... So there we are. Unless you try, you don't know. The Chateaubriand was fine, but it wasn't exceptional. Well... We've had a Chateau Grill at the El Delphine. Setting is 10 out of 10, but I'm afraid the food's only a 5.9. Uh, no. Okay, well, Anne's saying that it could be just a 5. Uh, it's just. We had a Chateau Brion, didn't we, in Little Italy, and that was absolutely fantastic. But, um, and the garlic prawn was lovely. Yeah, garlic prawn was lovely, but lacked a bit of bite. And the pepper, peppercorn sauce, look, in Scotland we have a saying for glue, it's called kabuchi, and that was a bit kabuchi. If you'd false teeth that would keep your teeth in for three years. But apart from that, the setting is wonderful. And it's just a shame the food didn't match up the setting. They're always going to mention the sauce. If they ask, it's okay. And we're going to say, no, it wasn't. Was it? Try it. 
The sauce was horrendous. Or sauce. It was, it was too, it was too gluten. <laughs> it was horrendous. <laughs> it wasn't sauce. It was like wallpaper paste. So there we are, that's an honest review, the El Delphine. I would love to say that it could have been better because the setting is absolutely fantastic. But, the wrong uh, but you can't order a wrong thing in a restaurant. You know, that if they don't have, they don't, if they can't cook it, it shouldn't be on the menu. I mean, it's as simple as that. But anyway, I'll leave you with a review. From the hotel, from the restaurant El Delphine in Cali or Salvan. Uvai and Gabella. Until the next time. We're we'll going for an Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> Anne says she's going home for Mal an Alka-Seltzer. I think we'll go home for a double brandy. I think that's more the point. But anyway, listen. Thanks for joining me. Remember, if you like, subscribe, just hit that button. It helps the channel. Until the next time, we'll see you on the next vlog from Islas Tenerife.